But uh, back to you, Jake. OK, thanks, Martin. We'll rejoin you to have a look at some more analysis in a few moments. But we're joined by two men who can be pretty happy with their day's work, actually. Kamui Kobayashi and Sergio Perez, who finished sixth and seventh, respectively. Your debut in Formula One, apart from winning the Grand Prix, could it have gone much better? It's been a great weekend for you. Oh, it was really nice. I mean, it's a dream, a dream start no, for me just to be in the points, to have such a nice race. Uh, a uh, good strategy, everything went fine, so it's a debut that I would remember forever. Great. And Kamui, particularly special for you to have a, a strong day today. We had the minute silence for your homeland before the race. Um, I'm sure there were many people tuning in yeah. back home. Uh, would have taken a lot of heart from another another great performance by you. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's great performance, and especially in this winter, we've had a really great job from team. I'm very happy. Um, my teammate was strong as well this race, so I was a bit <laughs> surprised, but I mean, it's overall, I think we had a really great job in this winter and I had to appreciate the team. Mm. What, one of the things we were just, just talking about earlier is what can a driver do to try and make the tyres last the distance? I was saying I didn't think there was much you could do, you know, from influencing in terms of driving style, but clearly you've unleashed something there. Did, did you know before the race you could get away with, with the one stop or was it something that just no. evolved when you were out No, there? to be honest, we, we never thought that we could do only one stop. In the briefing we, we spoke about two, three stops, depending how the race was going. But then I, re I did a very long stint on the prime. I was, uh, everybody was an option, so I lost some position. But then I was very consistent, and then uh, suddenly I dropped a lot. So I, I came, I, and when I put the option, I thought it was going to be 10 to 15 laps. So I really pushed. I had Vettel in front of me for, for some time, so, so it cost me the sixth position to button because I lost all, all around eight seconds. So when he was in front of me, I tried to save a lot because I was losing a lot my front by getting in behind him. And then uh, he, he pit, I overtook him, and then I managed the tires quite, quite nicely. I was not going into the limit, and still my pace was uh, three, four tenths away from what I could do. So I'm really happy for the team. It's a great day for, for the team, for, for Kamui and myself, so very proud for them. Um, if, if you don't mind, I thought that was an unbelievable debut, one of the finest I've ever seen, but I would like to speak to my old overtaking partner from last year. <laughs> we didn't see you overtaking today. What was the problem? I mean, it's still it's quite a tricky day for me. Uh, I don't know what's happened to the tyres. So I don't want to really push too much in the beginning because maybe another hand, maybe tyre going to change another side and we had a lot of strong tyres in the end. We have had like great race, but I mean, tyres was not what we expect. Life is very long. So I mean, today was a little bit myself a surprise day, but I think it's a good sign for pretty tyres. And how does it make you feel, Kamui, for your new teammate to come in and put in this kind of performance? It puts the pressure on a little bit, doesn't it? No, I mean, he had a really great performance today, and he's, I know he's strong and he's fast. So I think uh, I think we are now a very good teammate to be together and strong, all mm. the team. And I think it was really great place. Last year was a very difficult year, as we know, for Peter Sauber, who is probably one of the greatest and nicest men in Formula One currently. And... Um, for me, it must vie for the future because, you know, too, the reliability is there, the car is easy on the tyres. You now have to push on and try and get yourselves into the top three or four positions. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, we still didn't expect to be, like, on the podium, but I think it's, it's going to be a chance to be, in, like, very constant in the point. I think this is our always target, so I'm not really looking for podium, but I think this is a really great performance and the team is everybody happy. OK, well, good luck for the rest of the season. Welcome to Formula One. And if you think Formula One is all about neatness and perfection, just take a look at the jeans that these two boys are wearing. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> your Formula One racing drivers. You can't be walking around wearing Jake, those. This Sorry, is trendy. Trendy. You're using too much, you know? This, this is trendy, Jake. Come don't, on, anyone don't who has go giving kids Eddie age, any tips no. or we're in serious trouble. The, the shirts are bad enough. We can't have ripped jeans as well. All but the budget's gone into the car, clearly. <laughs> there you go. That's where, the that's where the weight goes. to wear them, David. Neither am I, mind you. No, I bet. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Thank Good you. luck and we'll see you in Malaysia. Okay, well done. Uh